Picture this, it's the early 1960s, and you're lounging in your cozy living room, the black and white glow of your TV casting a warm, inviting aura across the room. You reach for the remote and tune into your favorite channel. And there it is, a quirky show that instantly captured your imagination, My Favorite Martian. That very first encounter with Uncle Martin and Tim O'Hara, their zany misadventures, and the extraordinary secrets they shared, marked the beginning of a delightful journey into the world of science fiction and comedy. Do you recall those memorable moments when Uncle Martin's antennas popped up at the most inconvenient times, or when his Martian powers led to hilarious predicaments? Perhaps it was Tim's attempts to cover up Uncle Martin's otherworldly identity, or the whimsical inventions that sent their lives spiraling into chaos. My favorite Martian had a way of tickling your funny bone while making you ponder the mysteries of the universe. Now, as we step back in time and dive into some fascinating tidbits about this classic TV series, y'all get to relive those moments and rediscover the magic that made my favorite Martian an unforgettable part of television history. So, sit back, relax, and let's explore the intriguing facts behind the scenes of this beloved show. Loved show. Loved show. My Favorite Martian, a classic 1963 TV series, was a pioneering blend of science fiction and sitcom that captured the imagination of viewers. Created by John L. Green, the show revolved around the escapades of Tim O'Hara, a newspaper reporter played by Bill Bixby, who discovers an amiable Martian named Uncle Martin. Portrayed by Ray Walston, Crash Landed on Earth. What set the series apart was its clever combination of Martian technology and humor as Martin utilized his extraordinary abilities, such as invisibility and telekinesis, to navigate the quirks of human life. The dynamic between Tim and Uncle Martin was at the heart of the show, offering a delightful exploration of the clash between otherworldly wisdom and earthly absurdity. The series managed to strike a balance between science fiction and comedy, a unique blend that resonated with audiences of the time. Its impact on popular culture was significant, influencing subsequent TV shows that explored the concept of extraterrestrial beings living among humans. My Favorite Martian remains a nostalgic gem, remembered for its wit, charm, and the enduring appeal of its central characters, cementing its place as a beloved classic in the annals of television history. Television history. Television history. My Favorite Martian leaves its mark on TV sitcoms. The year 1963 marked the dawn of a new era in television entertainment with the debut of the beloved series, My Favorite Martian. Created by John L. Green, this quirky sitcom revolved around the eccentric Martian visitor, Uncle Martin, played by Ray Walston, and his earthling companion, Tim O'Hara, portrayed by Bill Bixby. While the show's premise of an extraterrestrial living undercover on Earth may sound far-fetched, my favorite Martian had a lasting influence on the genre of sitcoms with a supernatural twist, paving the way for series like Bewitched and I Dream of Genie. My Favorite Martian introduced viewers to the comedic potential of blending the ordinary with the extraordinary. Uncle Martin's telekinetic powers, invisibility, and retractable antennas provided ample opportunities for humor and misadventures, captivating audiences with its lighthearted and imaginative storytelling. One of the show's notable guest stars was Tina Louise, who gained fame for her role as Ginger on Gilligan's Island. After her guest appearance on My Favorite Martian, Louise continued to have a successful acting career, including roles in films and television shows. Her brief but memorable stint on the show showcased the caliber of talent that My Favorite Martian attracted. A behind-the-scenes tidbit that added to the show's charm involved the iconic shots of Martin's antenna raising. Achieving this effect required a creative solution. A prop man stood behind and below Walston, raising a piece of wood with the antennas attached to it. For scenes when Martin could be seen from the back with his antennas extended, Walston donned a wig with the antennas attached, seamlessly bringing the character to life. My favorite Martian may have taken its viewers on an otherworldly journey, but its impact on the world of television sitcoms remains firmly grounded in television history. With its imaginative premise, talented cast, and innovative production techniques, the series left an indelible mark on the genre, influencing future supernatural-themed sitcoms and continuing to charm audiences to this day. In 1963, the TV series My Favorite Martian took the nation by storm with its quirky premise and endearing characters. While the show only ran for three seasons, it left an indelible mark on television history. 
One fascinating tidbit about the series is that scripts originally penned for the planned fourth season found new life in the spin-off series My Favorite Martians. The show's creators, inspired by the continuing popularity of My Favorite Martian, decided to expand the Martian universe. Scripts that were initially intended for the fourth season of the original series were dusted off and repurposed for this new venture. My Favorite Martians brought back the beloved characters, including the Martian himself, Uncle Martin, portrayed by Ray Walston, and his human companion Tim O'Hara, played by Bill Bixby. This unexpected continuation delighted fans of the original series, who had longed for more Martian adventures. The show retained the same charm, humor, and whimsy that had made My Favorite Martian a hit in the first place. It was a testament to the enduring appeal of the Martian premise, and the chemistry between the cast members. In addition to My Favorite Martians, Ray Walston reprised his role as Uncle Martin in a 1999 TV movie titled My Favorite Martian. This return of the iconic character brought nostalgia flooding back for fans of the original series. Walston's portrayal was as delightful as ever, reminding audiences why they fell in love with Uncle Martin in the first place. Moreover, my favorite Martian made television history with a crossover episode titled The Man From My Uncle. In a unique crossover event for its time, the show teamed up with The Man From Uncle, another popular series of the era. This crossover episode blended the spy-fi elements of the man from UNCLE with the Martian shenanigans of my favorite Martian, creating a memorable television moment that fans still cherish. In the annals of TV history, my favorite Martian remains a standout series for its creativity, humor, and enduring appeal. From repurposed scripts to nostalgic returns and groundbreaking crossovers, the show continues to captivate audiences, proving that even a Martian can find a permanent place in our hearts. In the annals of classic television, my favorite Martian holds a unique place as the first ever science fiction sitcom. Debuting in 1963, the show introduced audiences to the otherworldly misadventures of Uncle Martin, an affable Martian stranded on Earth. Despite his many attempts to return home, the series concluded without resolving the central dilemma of whether Uncle Martin would ever make it back to Mars. This groundbreaking show not only captured the imagination of viewers with its blend of humor, and sci-fi elements, but also paved the way for other iconic sitcoms like Bewitched and I Dream of Genie. However, what set my favorite Martian apart was the reliance on science and advanced technology rather than magic. In an era when magic and witchcraft were common themes in TV comedies, Uncle Martin's ingenious gadgets and extraterrestrial powers added a fresh twist to the genre. One of the enduring mysteries of the show lies in its unresolved finale, leaving fans to speculate about Uncle Martin's ultimate fate. While many TV series provide closure to their storylines, my favorite Martian left viewers with an open-ended question, a testament to its ability to keep audiences engaged and eager for more. Beyond its impact on television, my favorite Martian made headlines in 2018 when magician David Copperfield purchased the spaceship prop used in the series at auction for a staggering $100,000. This piece of TV history found a new home in Copperfield's collection, solidifying the show's lasting cultural significance. In the world of entertainment, my favorite Martian remains a trailblazer, blending humor, science fiction, and an unforgettable Martian character, all while leaving us with the tantalizing question, did Uncle Martin ever find his way back to Mars? In 1963, the television landscape was graced with the arrival of My Favorite Martian, a sci-fi sitcom that defied the norms of its era. While the series abounded with comedic elements, it carried subtle yet impactful messages about understanding and tolerance, with its titular character, Uncle Martin, serving as a symbol of an outsider in search of acceptance. Despite the show's light-hearted tone, it managed to tackle important themes of inclusivity, and empathy as Uncle Martin, portrayed by Ray Walston, was a Martian stranded on Earth. His otherworldly quirks and abilities made him the quintessential outsider, a foreigner seeking connection in an unfamiliar world. This theme of embracing diversity and welcoming those who are different struck a chord with viewers during a time of social change in the 1960s. One remarkable aspect of the show is the age of Uncle Martin. According to the series, The Martian Visitor was a staggering 450 years old. 
This added an intriguing layer to his character, as he brought centuries of wisdom to his interactions with humans. My favorite Martian was more than just a sitcom. It was a reflection of the era's evolving societal values. It paved the way for other sci-fi comedies and remains a beloved classic for its unique blend of humor and social commentary. While the show may not have received the same level of recognition as some other classics of its time, it left an indelible mark on television history. In fact, Uncle Martin was ranked three in TV Guide's list of the 25 greatest sci-fi legends, a testament to the enduring impact of this quirky Martian on the genre. In conclusion, my favorite Martian stands as a testament to the power of television to entertain and enlighten simultaneously. Through its otherworldly character, it delivered a message of acceptance and understanding that still resonates today. And with Uncle Martin's age-defying wisdom, it etched its place in the annals of television history. As we bid adieu to the enchanting world of my favorite Martian, it's an opportunity to journey back through time and space to the year 1963. This timeless TV series captured the hearts and imaginations of viewers, young and old, with its delightful blend of science fiction and humor. As you've embarked on this nostalgic voyage, perhaps you've found yourself reminiscing about those unforgettable characters, especially the endearing Martian himself, Uncle Martin, and his curious human companion, Tim O'Hara. These two unlikely friends taught us that differences can be bridged through understanding, laughter, and shared adventures. Now, it's your turn to be a part of this journey. We invite you to reflect upon your personal connection with my favorite Martian. Whether it's the memorable Martian gadgets, the quirky antics, or the heartwarming moments that touched your soul, we want to hear about it. Share your favorite memories, thoughts, and anecdotes about the show that left an indelible mark on your heart. Your unique perspective is a piece of the larger mosaic that makes my favorite Martian a beloved classic. So, join the conversation, connect with fellow enthusiasts, and relive those cherished moments. After all, isn't it wonderful how a TV show from the 60 seconds can continue to bring people together across time and space? Thank you for taking this journey with us and for sharing your thoughts and memories. Your participation adds a special touch to this tribute to a timeless classic. Until next time, keep the Martian spirit alive in your heart, and remember that curiosity and friendship are truly out of this world. Warm regards. Guards. Guards. Guards.